What it? Ooh. What? Bruh. What it? Come on now, this ain't even backwards. There we go. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeremiah Two Toms, the hat backwards bandit. You know what I'm saying? And it's been a minute, but guess what? Like I said, A school. A school, A school, A school. So I'm just going to jump straight into it, man. So I finished boot camp around October 2nd, right? October 1st, got to A school October 2nd. It's just a short little bus ride. You know, you grab your seat bag and all your good little stuff. And you take a quick little ride across the TSC, right? You get there. And I'm talking about, like, you know, it's October in Chicago. So it's still warm. Like, you know, it's fall. You know, it feel good out there. I'm like, cool. It just feel good to take a deep breath and not be in boot camp no more. I'm talking about, you know, just that relieving feeling. So, you know, when I first get into the room, I eventually see my boy Willis, who I was with since when I first got to Chicago back in July. So we like, cool, we done been through every room together, boot, you know, the division together, everything, that's cool. So I'm like, all right, cool. One person I know in this room. And it was another guy named Simerson who was in our first room back in Memorial uh, Drill Hall. So that was cool. And then, then we have a dude named Schroeder, right? <laughs> Schroeder. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Man, remember that name. Remember that name when we get deeper in the A school. Remember that name. So, man, I'm going to break this down for y'all in three parts because, honestly, it's just too much. It's too much, and I ain't going to hold y'all attention for that long. I ain't going to keep y'all glued to the phone that long. <laughs> I ain't going to do y'all like that. That's that's dirty. But, man, we get into A school, and just let me, let me break it down, the whole basics of A school. Keep in mind, you've been in boot camp for however long, you know, you get quarantined, so I can't really put a date on how long. Some people just do the normal boot camp. They don't get you. They lucky enough to not get quarantined. Or they like me, or you get quarantined two, three times. It's some people that got quarantined more than me, so, you know, so I can't put a solid date on that. But remember, you in boot camp, either you male or female. If you're a male, you can't look at the opposite sex. You can't do nothing with them. You can't talk to them unless you're in one of the little trials that they put you through in boot camp where y'all just so happen to be together and even though you really can't but it's easier to get away with right so you can't look at them talk to them none of that you ain't got nothing and then you got like you got see like i came in 20 so i was a little bit older than you know the people who just got out of high school and stuff like that so you know when you're younger you yo yo how do i say this you you really want to get busy if you get what I'm saying. You you and then they 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 kept you so caged up and locked up. You most definitely want to get busy. Definitely if you didn't get busy before then. <laughs> if you didn't get nothing before then, then they already was cutting you off. You 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 more liable to just go and be like, I'm gonna shoot my shot regardless. And that's what A school is. That's what it is. Yeah, you got school, you got class, but majority of the time it's stupid stuff going on. <laughs> all the time and man so you got like so when i got to a school like i said i wasn't really like that because i was a little bit older you know like more mature whatever like that and i didn't expect to be there as long as i was they told me my school was only two months for quartermaster so i was like all right cool i'm thinking when you get to a school like that next week you in class no no i was waiting for like a month and some change to get put in class right so you in this thing called holes <laughs> Holes is pretty much you just wake up and they make you do pointless stuff. Two, the people that's in class get out, then you just go back to your room or whatever, right? But that's just a little rundown of that. So if for males, like I said, for males, when y'all go to A school, please, please don't be that one dude that's just shooting a shot at every girl, every girl, every girl. Cause it's only so many of y'all on that ship, which is just the building. It's only so many of y'all on there. So if you if you thinking you finna be, cause trust me, you're not that smooth. You're not. It's not even really about being smooth. It's just the fact that y'all all know each other. And like, what in like a month, bro, you'll know everybody. Unless you take my room. I didn't leave my room. In the beginning, did not. Did not leave my room, didn't like I was like, no, nah, I ain't gonna be here that long anyway. What I need to really make some type of connection with, you know what I'm saying, with these people for. No reason at all. 
right? And I um eventually got cool with like a couple, you know, a couple dudes that was on my floor. And they used to come and we play like 2K and stuff. But what's crazy, what was crazy was we were like completely different people. Like they like to be in a lounge, which you call the hangar bay. Uh be in a lounge, you know, listening to music, dancing on the couches and stuff. And I just like to be in my room. I, I like my own company, you know, it was just I ain't really I ain't really get into the mix of all that stuff. And you know, like that, they'll come out there talking about, oh yeah, this shoddy, this, this shoddy, that. Bro, you gotta come down to the hangar bay. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. You know? And um, so you know, thing things started going on. Right? <laughs> started getting a little a little busy, you know what I'm saying? Cause like the way A school setup is, like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm gonna keep it on honey. They gonna tell y'all, don't do the do, don't. Don't do it. But yeah, they sell condoms. And you can also get condoms for free at the little clinic thing. But don't do it. You, you get what I'm saying? I ain't good at winking, but you get what I'm saying. Just don't get caught. That's, that's the easiest way I can say it, is don't get caught. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because you get there and you got two different floors. They do not mix the genders together. They don't do that. They, they like... So like the girls would be on the first and second floor. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the males would be on the third and fourth. Cause like, that's how it was in my ship. I was in the USS Decatur, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how it was there. I don't know how it was in other ships. You know, I know it used to be all dual ships. I don't think there was an all girl ship, but you know what I'm saying? It might've been, and I just don't know. But um, the first night, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And they ain't gonna, ain't gonna put nobody name. I ain't gonna air nobody out. That's just dirty. That's that's not, it's not the two times way. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. That's not okay. But um, so first night, right? No, it wasn't the first night. It was the first night that I seen some wild stuff go down. Cause like, of course you hear it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I still had to like walk around the building. So every once in a while you just hear some stuff. And if you think like, you you got to be real. If if you like me, like I didn't wanna um. Once I got warmed up and everything to the ship, I didn't want to be just like bouncing around to, to different girls and stuff like that. That's not, I don't really get down like that. That ain't really my thing. I was just trying to find one, one that I could kick it with, you know what I'm saying? A little, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that just wasn't going for me at the moment because like, I don't know what it was about. Maybe it was because it was fresh out of boot camp. You know what I'm saying? And they was ready to get that engine running again. Cause not only are the guys like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me shoot my shot. The girls are the same way. They are the exact same way. Like, I'm telling you, you hear some some wild stuff. <laughs> like, some wild stuff, man. And I'm like, you know, the first time, oh, bro, it's a, it's this thing called NDOC. It's just an introduction week that you that you be in, right? And they teach you about uh financial things um pretty much just how to how to survive in the navy like financial wise and everything like that you know stuff like that like talking about car loans if you do get a car stuff like that <laughs> banks savings accounts you know thrift savings plans all that good stuff you know what I'm saying? all that good stuff down the road that just sets you up credit you know what i'm saying if you like me didn't really know too much about credit when i when i got in but you know what i'm saying because i mostly carry cash a lot you know what I'm saying? But we're not in that in that type of world right now. You know, you got Bitcoin and all that other stuff. That's besides the point. So, N.com, for the first, like, for the, it's, like I said, it's only a five-day week class thing. For four days straight, I didn't speak to a soul. I'm talking about I ain't say nothing. I'm in the back of the class, just, just in the back of the class with my book. And I'm, like, drawing stuff. Cause I like to draw and all that other good stuff like that. So I'm drawing, you know, don't really talk that much. Just trying to get through the class. Cause I know like there's no testing on like that. So you just pretty much got to be there. It's like a participation type thing. But my instructor, he didn't like that. Like for the longest, they didn't even know that I was in there until like the third day where I sneezed. And he was like, wait, are you new? Did they just put you? I'm like, nah, I've been here. Yeah, I've been here. And he like. You need to, so he so what he do is he switch all the seats around, and he put me to the front, and I was next to this one girl named Miles that I eventually you know I got cool with her, we was all cool and um, so it was Miles, and it was this other dude that was from Atlanta too, 
named Mac, like this light skinned dude. So we had this this discussion because you do these little discussions where they give you a situation. And if you were on this side of the classroom, you agree. If you're in the middle, you like undecided. If you're on the other side, you disagree. And it was this whole topic like, if, if, is it okay to hit girls? And of course, everybody like, no, you got a few people that's like, mm, maybe, you, you know, what if she hits you first? And then you got some people that's like, yeah, 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 do that. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I see nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. And, you know, I'm on the no side, either way it go type thing. But what the dude Mac had said was his situation that he threw up in the air was, what if Shorty like a bodybuilder? Like, like I'm from Atlanta, but I ain't really got like no accent to it. Cause like I said, I'm, that's where I, you know, got the most influence on me because that's why I lived most of, you know, most of my life. But he was like straight, straight talking about what, what if Shorty hit me and she on some bodybuilder, like she swole. And I'm like, I'm saying like everybody looking at him like, what? And then this is when I finally raised my hand. I was like, well, I don't know what type of girls he like. I don't like bodybuilders. I don't, I don't like, no, I don't. That's not really my, <laughs> my thing. It's not really my court to shoot on. But I mean, if he like that by all means, but I still don't think it's okay to hit her, you know? And he like, oh, so you just got to call me out. I'm just like, hey man, I just, <laughs> if the shoe fit. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like a shorter dude. You know, like, man had to be like 5'6", five, 5'5", five, 5'4". Five, 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 but to be with a big old bodybuilder, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. Don't get me confused. I just wouldn't do it. No way, Jose. But look, man. <laughs> so we go through that. You go through that little situation stuff. And we sitting in class, right? And this is the first girl. That had spoke to me. Because like I said, I was not speaking to other people. Like, I just wasn't. She came up. She was like, oh, hey, da-da-da-da-da. And then, you know, I started talking to her. And then, like, Miles and Mac and all them. And then I figured out that they're all just like a little friend group. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, other people, not everybody going to think the way that I think. So, you know, they gather friends. They get their little groups. They click. You know, that's all good and all. And they was all like... Oh, you want to come eat with us? And I was like, I mean, I guess. So I, you know, I go with them. And the whole time, the one girl, Lopez, she just walking with me, right? Just like walking with me the whole time. And it like talking to me. And I'm sort of just like, you know, I was like, you know, she cute, you know. I was like, she cute. She cool, right? Boom. Keep in mind now, we fresh out of boot camp. Fellas and ladies, both. All of them. Both of them. Listen. <laughs> When, when you first get out of boot camp, get, give yourself some time to recalibrate your brain, okay? Because, <laughs> look, when you first get out of boot camp, keep in mind, you've been locked in this room, around in this environment where you're around the same sex, right? So when you first get out, you're going you gonna to be a little... Your sight's gonna be blurry. Let me say that. You, you're not gonna be thinking clearly. You're gonna be thinking, boom, the first chance, the first opportunity. You're gonna try to, you know, uh, I can't even say that. Cause I don't want that page to have that type of language. But you get what I'm saying. You're gonna, you gonna, your judgment is going to be thrown. Nah. Frisbee thrown. So look, slow your roll. Before you get too much dip on your chip. Think. Give yourself two weeks to look at every girl on that base. Or every guy on that base. Because like I said, you see it. Everybody bite the dust. It happened to the best of us. Right? <laughs> Just give yourself some time. <laughs> give yourself some time. Because you know we in COVID now too. We in COVID now. You got to wear the mask. You got you to gotta wear the mask. And the... The mask come down because them eyes, listen, you, you never paid attention. I've never, I don't know if y'all, I've never paid attention to a girl eyes so much to the, to the point where like, you be like, you sort of imagine the rest of her face just off her eyes. So if her eyes look cute, you'll be like this. Yeah, I bet, yeah, I bet she look cute under that mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in that mug. And you just be like, huh. Oh. Could have told me that. I mean, play with me like that. That's how disrespectful. Right? And like I said, it go, it go the same. It go both ways. It's 360. Trust me. I ain't saying every girl take off their mask and no, 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 no. No. It go to it go both ways. Trust me. Man, it go both ways. But look, <laughs> hear me out. Cause you out there, right? For the guys, for the guys, listen. If you not good at talking to girls, like you you really tuned into your phone, so you used to just DMing a girl, you not used to, you know what I'm saying, like having actual, you know what I'm saying, communication, actual conversations in person, you gonna have a hard time, my brother. A hard time. <laughs> Put that phone down. <laughs> Talk to a girl in person. Because, man... It's talking about you see some weird stuff going on. Cause keep in mind, like, it depending on how your ship is, you got slim pickings. Not there's not gonna be a ship that's that's co-ed, and every girl on there just look bad. Just just naturally looking attractive. You get what I'm saying? So if if you listen, you gotta work that mouth, bro. You're gonna have to spit game. You're gonna have to be smooth. Don't go up there, hey, I like you. No, bruh, you're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work. Cause think about this, think about this. Majority of the time, it's gonna be more males than females. The ratio is completely thrown off. So only the smoothest dudes gonna, gonna get that girl, you know what I'm saying? So for the people who don't really have good communication skills, work on that now. I'm saying right, right now. Like as you watching this video, Practice, practice, please. I don't, I don't want y'all to be like, oh, Jeremiah didn't tell me this. I did, I did. So I don't even lie like that. I don't like that. But look, so back, back on what I was saying though, right? You gotta work your mood. And as soon as you like, what I can say is, I slipped up on this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna do that to y'all. I caught, I got caught slipping, right? I get this one girl, right? And a lot of dudes wanted to talk to her, right? But I was I was just smooth enough. Just smooth enough <laughs> to seal the deal. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna get too 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 detailed on what I mean, but you get what I'm saying. You dig, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So seal the deal. And you know what I'm saying, for the most part. I got to say, if if you're not so lucky to seal the deal or not have the tools to seal the deal, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry, but I feel bad for you. Because what one man won't, another man will. So, so trust me. And like I said, it's only y'all on that ship, but a lot can go down. On that ship, a lot, a lot, a lot, a whole lot. Cause trust me, they be like, don't, don't mix rooms. It happened. You just don't get caught. That's all it is. Just don't get caught, right? I'm talking about, and you gotta work what you gotta do. If you got some lame roommates, I'm sorry for you. Cause I guarantee when, <laughs> let me turn my head to the left. Cause that means I'm being serious now. All right. When it was time for me to seal the deal, wasn't nobody in that room. Because it could be up to four or five people in that mug. I guarantee it was only dose. Two. You, you know what I'm saying? And one of your roommates like, man, I got this girl coming up, man. Can y'all just step out real quick? Go to another room. If they say no, guess what? It's time to, it's time to throw them things. It's time to throw them things. Because that means only one or two things. They jealous because they ain't getting something. Or they jealous. That's it. You see, they jealous because they ain't get something yet. Or they can't. So they going to hate. You know what I'm saying? They not going to like that. But if you got cool roommates, I applaud you. Now, you, you going to have to go stupid. You going to have to. Prepare yourself. Because keep in mind, you got to prepare yourself mentally and physically. Keep in mind, you, you been in boot camp. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. 
nothing. You've been in a drought. So how you think that's going to go? And it's even worse. If, if you ain't getting nothing before boot camp, you've been in a drought this whole time. And now a girl trying to bless you. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you just got to be ready. I'm talking about whatever you got to do on shaving, all that shave, prepare yourself. You know what I'm saying? Have your little lotions, your little, your little body. You know what I'm saying? Smell good. Look good. You know what I'm saying? Because what? Think about it. For my people who play sports, if you go out there with your uniform looking ugly, you got on some beat up cleats, shoes, whatever, you're not going to play good. You don't, you don't feel good. You don't look good. You're not going to play good. You ain't going to go to a party without a haircut. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You better throw it down because it's a good chance. A good chance. If you don't, you gonna hear about one of your homeboys doing it. You don't wanna be that person. You don't wanna be that person. You don't wanna be the minute man. Don't be a minute man. Cause if you if you a minute man, just wait. Wait till you get out of A school. Because things spread fast. I'm talking about real fast. Man, so you know, it's I'm with my little crew, it's me, my boy Coleman. Thomas, Wright, uh, Pierre, you know what I'm saying? We That's like the people that I was cool with when I was there. My boy Craig, you know what I'm saying? I can't forget about Craig, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We had our little thing going on. Boom, boom, boom. But this is where things can get highly dumb. It gets stupid, right? Because at first... I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was sort of like a hit or miss. Like, the girls that wanted to talk to me, I didn't really want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was going through boot camp and I went through my little drought or whatever, but I ain't want it that bad. It wasn't that bad, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't going for nothing. You know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing. They like, Joseph, man, Joseph, man, you gotta, you gotta go, man. You gotta get some. I'm like this, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> and all due time, it's gonna come. And I'm going to know. I ain't finna just be out there, you know what I'm saying, forcing it. Out there shooting shots and I'm shacking it right now. I'm not finna do that, you know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to shoot on that court. But uh, anyways, yeah. So we getting through everything like that. They doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody up on the fourth deck. I don't know what it was about the fourth deck, but <laughs> I don't know about them third deck dudes. They wasn't getting it nothing. Nothing. Fourth deck? But you would have thought that mother was a co-ed deck. You would have thought floor, fourth floor. You would have thought that thing was a co-ed floor. Talking about <laughs> round and round. I'm talking about so spinning. Man, every weekend, I was like this, man. That's crazy, right? That's tough. It was real tough on that fourth deck. You feel me? Man, so... They doing their thing. And I'm like, boom, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to figure something out, right? Because girls kept telling me, oh, you cute or you look good, but I don't know. You look like a thought. I was like, what? I look like a thought. Now, th this is where it got real dumb. This girl said, I look like a smart thought. A smart thought, right? I was like, and this is when before I lost my glasses, right? So I was like, is it because I got glasses on? That don't... I'm confused. Like, I was actually befuddled. Confused. Didn't know what that really meant. Like, what that entailed. Right? She's talking about some. You look like you can have a bunch of girls, but not get caught up. I was like, that's crazy. Because I pretty much just stay in my room. That's it. That's all I really did was stay in my room. But, you know what I'm saying? I started warming up. Because, you know what I'm saying? You start hitting that. You start getting in that drought. You don't start. You start thinking just random things. You don't even think straight. You know what I'm saying? You go so long, you be like, man, I don't even know. You don't even think straight. Like, the, the more you go without it, the the more the less you start to care. You just be like, forget it, man, you know? <laughs> just do other stuff. But without that, without that release, bro, you get mad at just random stuff. One, because you stuck there. You can't leave base. So it's stuck. So I don't I can't speak for y'all. For me. Bro, I was getting mad at almost everything. Everything was pissing me off. Like, I could be playing 2K with somebody in the, in the lounge or something. And they'd be like, 
you know how guys do. Dudes gonna pop, you know what I'm saying, pop their stuff when you playing 2K or just anything competitive, you know what I'm saying, because we males. And there's females there. So you got some of the dudes who just want to sort of embarrass another male to, I don't know, I think they think that they, that raises them up in the female's eyes. So, you know what I'm saying, by all means, do you. I, I don't get that. But do you, like I said. So he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you trash. You da -da 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 -da. And I was like this. Bro, I will beat your ass, bro. Like, stop talking to me like that. Like, <laughs> it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't even about 2K. It was just like, why you doing that? Like, you getting, you getting real out of pocket right now. And it, honestly, I didn't even really care. I was just aggravated in general. Just being there and going through the same thing, stuck on that base, not being relieved with that nasty food and all that other stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just stuff you're going to run into anyway. Because like I said, we're males. So some males got a bigger ego than others <laughs> and stuff like that. But A school, you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff. You're going to see a lot. It's some things I can't talk about. Just let that sink in. I can't. But look, <laughs> it's it's so much crazy stuff. Cause like like I said, it was it was my ship was the Decatur, and next to us was the Jersey, the dirty Jersey. Let that sink in. Dirty Jersey, dirty, dirty. So dirty. These folks <laughs> had to split the male and females. And turn into a whole female ship. Because A school, bro, it's like A school is the easiest place to get in trouble at. Every any any petty officer, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who got, you know, some years in the Navy, they're gonna tell you that it's the easiest place to get in trouble. Like, it's so easy to to find the wrong things to do. But a lot of people get away with it. A lot of people get caught. And like I said, people come from all different types of backgrounds. So they gonna try to portray this image because they not at home no more. They could start over new. Me starting over new in the Navy meant like, you know what I'm saying, everything that's in my past, I'm just leaving it there. I'm a whole new, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even Jeremiah no more. I'm Joseph, you know what I'm saying? While I'm here, I'm Joseph, right? Start over new. But you got some people, and for my males, cause I didn't really see no females do nothing like this. For my males, do not, Go up in that A school. You know what I'm saying? Wherever your A school life is, Chicago, Florida, Mississippi. Th th these are just a few rules. Please don't do. Do not go in there talking about some you gang banging back at home. You was, you was gang this and gang that and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Calling people your blood, your cuz on phone them. Stop that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because trust me. We see right, right through that. Like, if you if you wasn't like that at home, we can see that you're not like that here. And even the girls can see that. Don't, cause nobody likes somebody that try too hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't be around there lying. Like talking about some man. I like a hundred girls. Yeah, cause like I said, let you be that many man. Everybody gonna know. Everybody, you know what I'm saying. And as far as if you under 21, don't drink, don't drink. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm 21. Don't get me wrong, but don't drink, bro. Cause I understand on that base, it is highly depressing. It's highly depressing, and it has nothing to do about the, the higher up people and nothing like that. It, it's nothing really they could do. They they gonna try their best to do little little activities and stuff like that. But it's just depressing on that base. It is. You can't leave the full trash. And if you in like the Decatur, the next, which is like the the little own base store food court, it's all on the other side of base. And when it turned winter, but when I was up there, it was negative six degrees. Who finna be walking in negative six degrees? That's like a a mile, two miles away. And snow that goes up to your knees. Who finna do that? Not I. So it's just a lot of stuff that go into that. So like I said, you gotta make sure you got your head screwed on tight. Tight. Padlock your brain. Because, <laughs> boy, let me tell you.
It's gonna be a lot of things that 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 bite at you. But over overall, A school is wild, real wild. Like, cause during the week you got these NMTIs, which is like petty officers that they assign to your ship, your building, and there'll be like four or five of them. You know what I'm saying? During the weekend, they're not there. But they have one roving NMTI that rolls the entire base. So they stop by like every hour or so. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. You know what I'm saying? They they make their cycles though. You know what I'm saying? They do what they gotta do. Listen, <laughs> what happens in the hangar bay on the weekend? Don't 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 blend into the week. It just sort of stay there. <laughs> like, I'm talking about something. If they twerking, God damn, whatever you want, right? Twerking, dancing, having a good old time, right? So it's this one time, right? It was this one time in the hangar bay. It's lit. It's lit in there. Like, it was my first. It was like my, no, it wasn't my first. It was like my third time in the hangar bay. But this time it was like jumping, like big old speaker, people playing uh, 2K, you know, Madden. They got the pool table. Let me tell you something. If you ain't never played pool, but you're going to play pool there. You become a pool expert, a pool specialist, if you may. I'm talking about some. You can play pool so much because that's really all you got to do. Like being there, I'm not going to lie. It's not for like if, if you real standoffish and everything like that, like you just don't feel comfortable talking to people, you going to get comfortable talking to people because we all there together. You know what I'm saying? Like we all pretty much losing our minds together. So why not just talk to each other? And you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go talk to everybody. I'm not saying, oh, hi there. You know what I'm saying? But find you a group of people that's cool. You know what I'm saying? And, and stick with your people. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just A school, bro. That's all. It, this is the really thing I can say. But trust me. Like I said, they get wild. So back to what I was saying. It's a good old time in the hangar, bay. You know, people got their little vapes and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just seemed like a cool little thing going on. The one thing you cannot do, please, please don't get caught doing this. And you would think it'd be something wild, but it's not. Don't get caught up, like, hugging on somebody. Like, say if a girl just, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all sitting there together, just an arm wrapped around her shoulder. Casual. Clean. PG. Oh, my God. Let them roving NMTIs come up in there. And it, it's not all of them. It's some of them. Some of them do the most. Some of them are the people that I talk about in boot camp that are tryhards. But they tryhards now. They done been in for, like, six, seven years. For no reason. Just tryhards. They come up in there. It's on something. Are y'all hugging? Hugging? With COVID around? I'm like, bro, is they really, bro, they gonna throw COVID around? Like, like they don't make y'all stand close to each other. Like y'all not close to each other every day. Within six feet of each other every single day. But this girl hugging me is the worst thing in the world. I'm talking about you got some NMTI that just be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't do that, right? And you respect that. But you got some that come up in that mug so disrespectful. And you just be like, they be letting that uniform fool them. I'm, I'm telling you. They come in there and they let that uniform fool them. Like, like, like this left and this right. Like it, like it, like it don't work or something. Man, I'm telling you, they gonna try you. They gonna try you so bad. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. So like I'm saying. So that, you know what I'm saying? It's a good time. Everybody just chilling. Doom, doom, doom. NMT, I come in. They shut it down. I told them they shut it down. But the one thing that they just can't control is, think about it. You got a bunch of people that's from the age group of 17 to like 28, 29. Yeah, there's some people that's like 28, 29. You're going you gonna to see that in there. So I, uh, my division, we're going to do that like 38. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Iki or them. But um, yeah, so... It's a lot of hormones and a lot of horny festivities. Let's just say that. That's what we gonna use. Yeah, let's do horny festivities. Going around in the air, right? A lot of them. So we like, man, forget that. They gonna close the hangar bay. Guess what we gonna go? In the ladder well. It, it ain't nothing but four flights of stairs packed with people. Like 40, 50 people packed in the ladder well just having a good old time. Just yeah, just talking it up, speakers playing and all that. But if you've ever ran from 12, if you've ever been in a situation where let's say it's a kickback or something, 12 pull up, y'all gonna scatter like roaches. 
Imagine trying to scatter like roaches in a ladder well that's only about this big. About this big and there's like 40 of you. Yeah. Stupid. But look, you don't think about that. You're just trying to have a good time because during the week, you know, you got school. You got everything that's, you know what I'm saying? You might have some stuff that's going on back at home. You know what I'm saying? It might be stressful like that. So, you know what I'm saying? It was good and everything like that. But we just going to spin back to this because I just need y'all to understand one thing. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Watch yourself. Don't be out here falling in love, boy. Don't do it, cause you're not really in love. It's not. It's like it's like a pipe dream. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You can have your your one girl where y'all just y'all got that agreement. She don't want to go mess with a bunch of people. You don't want to go mess with y'all. Just want to kick it and have y'all good time together, right? Don't let it go past that. Don't do it. The Navy is shysty. I ain't even talking about the branch, like just the branch as a whole. But boy, it gets shysty. I'm telling you. I done seen dudes that was married be like this. Well, I mean, my wife won't know. Just throw that. Let me go clap shorty right there. I seen some women that's just like, well, whoop. Man, <laughs> cool your jets. Cool your jets. Don't do it. Somebody be walking your dog. <laughs> Somebody walking your dog and we ain't got no pets there. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't bite the dust on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I slipped up. I ain't throw a lot of y'all. I thought I was in a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? And tr oh, trust me though. She went around there doing all that crazy stuff. Talking about bouncing from dude to dude. Duh. <laughs> I ain't one of them. But... Man, y'all just gotta y'all just gotta play it cool. You gotta play it safe. Please play it safe. Man, cause I'm talking about you gon' you gonna be around there trying to fight other dudes. Don't do that. It's just so much. And let me tell y'all about standing watches. Let me tell y'all about them watches they make y'all stand. Y'all are on a military base, right? Boom, you're on a military base, but they wanna simulate a ship. So they gonna make y'all stand stuff like the stairwell watch, uh, first deck, you know, first floor watch, bag check. Uh, we got this thing called poo, where um, it's petty officer of the watch. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, you write on a deck log. It's just this this long log, pretty much like a sheet of paper. And you just write what happened. Boom. We um did colors where you stand for the flag and everything like that. Uh, if an NMTI came onto your ship, stuff like that. You know, just pretty much basic stuff. But you cannot mess up. If you do. You got to one line it, put your signature and do all this other stuff. And that's just a little real tedious little watch that if you if you cool with the right people, you'll never stand it. <laughs> you'll never stand that mug. You'll, you'll never do it. Never, ever. You know what I'm saying? I would say get leadership roles. Get a uh, uh, DSL, duty section leader, ASL, assistant section leader, uh, watch bill coordinator. You make the watches. You put people on the watches. And unless you crazy or something, I, you wouldn't put yourself on the watch. You don't understand the watches. Unless it's a little easy watch. You know what I'm saying? Like, for my males, you want first deck watch. Me, when I first got there, bro, they put me on first deck watch like six days in a row. And guess, six days in a row for like six or seven hours. Guess what I was doing right there? How you doing? Because it's the female deck. <laughs> I was sitting there talking about some, how you doing? I'm Joseph. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, okay, cool, cool. I guarantee I said, hello, how you doing to every single one of them. Even the ones that was kind of ugly. That's rude, not ugly. Not qualified, right? Still was like, you know, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Just trying to branch my network. Network. It ain't shooting your shot, it's networking. That's all it is, networking, communication. Ain't nothing wrong with being friendly. Not too friendly, but you know, it ain't nothing wrong with that. So I was networking, right? Boom, boom, boom. And this is where the start of me getting caught up slipping happened, right? It's October 12th. I'm standing on, uh, I'm standing Mu, right? Which is where you stand in the middle of the thing and you just, just come aboard, go ashore, stuff like that, right? 
And this one girl came up to me, right? And she's like, she's trying to get her signatures to be qualified for the watches, right? Her name was Santana, right? So, I like, she come up and I was like, man, she pretty, right? You know what I'm saying? First, first thought, cause like I said, I, I messed up the first time. First time I had that, that boot camp somnia, boy. I was, <laughs> woo, boy. But, you know, she come up and we just talking about everything. You know, how to get qualified for the watch. And I told her, don't be stealing my stuff now when I tell you this. Matter of fact, you can use it. You, you can use it. You can use it. I don't even care that much. But look, she was like, I was like, okay, cool. So explain to me the watch like I'm new. And you know what I'm saying? Just explain it to me. So she explained it to me. Boom, boom, boom. She did good and everything like that. I signed off her paper. And I was like, is there anything else that you want to ask me? And she was like, is there anything you want to ask me? I was like, can I get your number? You know what I'm saying? No, hey, look. I see you sitting so, man, that way ain't no cheesy. What you, don't even do me like that. Cause it worked. You know what I'm saying? It worked, right? Get her number and you're not supposed to have your phone on watch. For anybody watching this that's a petty officer that I didn't have my phone on watch. She wrote it on my hand. You know what I'm saying? That's where that the communication skills come into play. You can't be out there holding, you know what I'm saying, out there with the cat got your tongue, boy, because who you going to be mad at other than yourself? You know what I'm saying? So get her number and everything like that, and we just kicking it, cooling and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Everything was cool, but I ain't going to give y'all too much sauce right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to hit it back with the part two. We're going to hit it back with part two. Just stay tuned. I'm Jeremiah two times. The hat backwards. Ba back hat. Hat backwards bent. Damn it. The hat backwards bandy. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. And I'm out. Bop.